Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match between Harpic and his halflings and Tindis and his lizard men. Um, Tindis won the toss and chose to kick. He's got he's actually got a pretty good lizard man team, right? Maybe the best lizard man team in the cup. I'm not sure, but it's it's up there. Oh, maybe not actually. He's got three block guards, which is great. He's got the tackle mighty with break tackle, which is pretty great. This one should have been guard, I think, and this one should have been guard rather than being tackle. So he is he's probably two guards off where he should have been. So I don't think this is the best Lizard Man team actually. Now that I think about it, I think there is a better Lizard Man team. He's got match four skin, which he's benched. Um Harpick has got the Halfling Master Chef, which stole two re-rolls. And he's just got an instant Kaz as well from <laughs> uh Deep Root that he in, that he uh, induced, star player, Wizard as well, and he's got Bertha Big Fist, the Ogre, so he's got a lot of strength, and uh, he's got a very nice Halfling here, uh, apart from its minus move, <laughs> so it would have been great if it was like plus move, but minus move makes it, yeah, unfortunately, a bit crap. Um, so yeah, this is it's interesting. I, I always feel like lizards aren't very good against stunties. Um, there is the crocs. He's just been knocked down. There, there he is. Look. But maybe no, maybe no crocs now. He might be getting, he might be getting uh, fouled off instantly. Yeah, Johnny Five. That's that's the that's the uh, that's the kind of insight you can only get on this channel. Yep, there's still the crocs for the for the lizard spot. Yeah, it's funny, right? Because it's like their advantages against everybody else is strength four compared to strength three. But when your advantage is strength four compared to strength two, it's basically just the same as strength four versus strength three, right? So they're not really they don't really have any extra any extra um, advantage than they would normally have. And then their skinks, it's not that good that they're strong. Oh wow, he dubs gold and didn't reroll because he only got one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely banged on. What do think about Bertha? I don't know. It's not what I would do. Oh my god, he just killed another guy. I don't know how old Bertha is to be. How old Bertha is? Oh god, I didn't. That's just terrible. I don't know how much Bertha costs. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I said that. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd have Zara then. I'd have Zara. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Hey, at least it's not as bad as as Chunter and his <laughs> Chunter holding his lamp post. <laughs> oh man. Right. Jeebus. No, I think I think Birth is a bit shit. I I guess he thought it's strength five to like dominate the Saurus. Um that's why he did it. More strength against the Saurus, but Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So he keeps nailing the crocs. I guess I like I guess that's his that's the way he thinks he's gonna win, right? If he if he if he mans up his uh, strong boys onto the Saurus and then fouls one or two out, or like you know, casts them out like he has them random with mighty blow. Like there's seven, there's seven strong boys, and he's got four strong boys, hasn't he? So now there's only five strong boys left. So I guess I guess that was his thinking. Just going for a, going for Saurus dominance. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't be playing. Oh, I wouldn't be playing halflings anyway, right? So it's it's not really fair to say, <laughs> but I guess that's I guess that's why I did it. it was to. Uh, If you can, if you can strength dominate the Saurus, that's 
pretty good, isn't it? Very risky though, going in, staying in contact here, unless he gets an auto armor break, which he doesn't. So he could he could double one this. No, he could have also three it as well. Yeah, like my instinct would say Zara, but I, you know if that's his ideas and that's his ideas. Wow, he's got a yeah. That was a terrible. That was a terrible place to pull him, wasn't it? I think it was. I think that's much much better now. So obviously, he's got to worry about this break tackle and that break tackle, hasn't he? I mean, this is. He hasn't. This is just a break tackle in, isn't it? It's like, in in here. Oh, he can't go in there. It's in there. Oh, God, there's a lot of people, though, isn't there? All right, so I guess he's done a good job. Three tackle zones. Two, three, four, five. Five plus. Maybe he should have just break tackled in, honestly. Because he's lost two Saurus. Nah, I don't think so, Lehman Russ. I think I think I think his idea is to man up the Saurus. And then you've just got you know, four skinks versus versus your team of halflings. And then you're feeling pretty confident, aren't you? I mean maybe, maybe, maybe it is for the cage dive. He must be feeling a bit hard done by that he hasn't hurt that uh, that Crocs by now, though, isn't he? He's fouled it a bunch of times. And now he's probably going to have to stop. No, he's just relying on on Deep Root holding the line there. It's another foul. Like, uphilling him with block and obviously needing a power is, is pretty low odds. But you might be able to get a 1D on him, mightn't you? Oh, he's, but he's blocked the... He's assisted the run along the square. Shouldn't he have just 1D'd him? And then, like, left that open and then he, if he powered him he could have hit the ball. I guess he's just going to cast him instead. Yeah, Bertha would get a 3D if she if she break tackled him, wouldn't she? Uh, if there was, if there was no go. But then Puggy's got block, which is quite good. And Puggy's cheaper, so it'll give you like a bribe as well. Nope, the Duble Skulls. Oh wow! Oh, what a nightmare! What an absolute nightmare! The Duble Skulls didn't move the cage first. He could have moved the f cage first. He hasn't. Re he hasn't recovered Bertha, and he didn't move the cage. He could have just move the cage fully up here, right before making that hit. Like it is only a two D with block. So like, yeah, it's Lords. What he's not blitzing with tackle. He's got tackle right there, and he's not blitz with tackle. Well, you know, I'm not an expert, and who can say if it's right or wrong, when you've got a fucking tackle guy there, and he's got a ball carry with dodge. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that's fucking horrendous. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell was that? Jeebus. Because, like, it's not like you can say that maybe he didn't want him, you know, stuck on the tree or whatever after, but he didn't even have to, right? This guy could have gone somewhere else and he could have hit him from there and not followed, and, like, he just didn't need to. He didn't need to get the, uh,. 
You didn't need to get in a bad position or anything. It's one, two plus from tackle, then he gets to row away. <laughs> the crocs the crocs was finally not stunned and then boneheaded didn't even didn't even notice that. That's pretty funny. Shouldn't you've hit this way to get him out of the way? I guess if you power it all right. Is he going for the ball? I'm going to blitz him and just tag. There you go. Blitz is with a tackle this time. Well done. <laughs> Bold strategy, Captain. Oh, I don't like. I don't like keeping him based up. He's 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 rooted. Go somewhere else. Hello, flicky frog. <laughs> Like, if he didn't have block, it wouldn't have been so bad, would it? But when he's got blood, you've, you've just literally got to. Like, because there would be... <laughs> there would be some compensations to having your tackler free somewhere else or whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, at least, at least you could... You could... <laughs> you could make some kind of weird excuses as to why it keeps your tackler free somewhere else. But when he's got Blodge, you simply have to blitz him with tackle. You just have to. Well, can the Skinks roll dodges now, I guess, is the question. It doesn't even have to dodge, you just had a double GFI. <laughs> the Crocs. <laughs> He's been either fouled, <laughs> fouled or uh, fouled or stupid. <laughs> All of this just doesn't really matter, does it? You just, it's just some twos to score. You can make it a bit easier. Oh my god. It was Bertha. <laughs> Bertha does not have a juggernaut in it. I was just thinking, as he did the blitz, I was like, does Bertha have a juggernaut? Um... And all all she's got is brick tackle and dodge, so that was that was <laughs> pretty risky. I don't think he could, I don't think he could screw, I think it was two I think it was two GFIs just to tag. I think it was two GFIs just to tag. Still works. I think just dodging was the best. The fact that it's a loner and doesn't have juggernaut or anything. <laughs> Move six, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's only one in twenty-seven, isn't it? So like, it's a pretty safe hit. But oh, was it diving tackle? Ah, right. Oh, I didn't even know he had diving tackle. 
Oh, you can't ex you can't expect me to look at skills. Come on. Come on, guys. You can't expect me to look at skills. Seriously. Seriously now. <laughs> and he cast him as well. So yeah, okay. The blitz is the blitz is fantastic, then, isn't it? <laughs> Flip me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Flicky, you know it. The business was a good movie though. Very good movie. So the flings, the flings just did a perfect eight turn stall, didn't they? On their own possession. Now that's good because it, it can get tricky with halflings. I often feel like your own offense is harder than your defense with, uh, with flings. And obviously now he could just not even play defense and still win, right, with uh, the one turn. Made a lot of removals. He's got Bertha behind the line in case in ca in case of like a blitz or whatever, so he could potentially score, I guess. <laughs> I don't think PC would have taught, caught it either, to be honest. <laughs> I think he would have caught the. <laughs> He blitzed without tackle, though. <laughs> but you know who can say if it's right or wrong? Wow, the, the Crocs is boneheaded again as well. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> Crocs has just been, like, stunned for four turns. And boneheaded four turns. <laughs> Only steals one now, the chef. So the losers have got two re rolls for their own offense. But they've got five strong players versus four strong players. And then they've got three weak players versus six weak players. Seven, no, six. Seven weak players. So yeah, they're, they're outnumbered, outgunned. It's looking very, very bad. Like, every one of the strong players is stronger than their strongs as well, right? You've got Crocs go two strength down <laughs> to Deep Root. <laughs> These guys, two strength down to the trees. And then one strength down. So, yeah, it's real, real bad for the lizards. I mean, Halflings are a good team, to be fair, aren't they? Like, they're not... They're not as much of a joke as ogres and goblins are. They're a pretty, they're a pretty mean team, all things considered. Like, obviously they're they're crap. <laughs> to, in a, to an extent, but also they get they do get good star players. You know they get they get this chef for cheap, which is huge, isn't it? They've got a decent one turn. They've got a lot more going for them than the other the other two stunning teams. Uh, third least shit after them too, yeah, I guess so. Oh my god. Oh, he killed it. He killed the halfling. I thought. I thought the Crocs had died. I thought. The, I thought the Crocs had just killed himself on the board down after getting continuously stunned and boneheaded. He just died hitting a halfling. Would have been amazing. <laughs> oh man, there's another another Soros removal. Brutal. So now he can absolutely one on one. 1v1, all of the big guys. Uh, I guess so, then. Like, Ogres are the worst, aren't they? And then Goblins, and then Halflings, I guess.
Don't know why I should be careful. I've already... <laughs> I've already... Uh... Oh yeah, Kislev aren't a Joel team. Kislev are a really, really good team. They are totally capable of beating anybody. Oh my god, there you go. Finally, the, he gets cast. <laughs> so, the, the Crocs' game has been... Stun, 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 boneheaded, 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 cast. <laughs> um. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think 2020 Nurgle are literally the worst team in the game. I, I said I said so on Reddit. Amazingly, haven't been downvoted to oblivion. But I think they are literally the worst team in Blood Bowl 2020. Uh, Nurgle. Because they just don't have any redeeming qualities anymore. Really bad. Oh, I wrote worst team in the game, so somebody else wrote best team in the game. What an idiot. <laughs> What an absolute idiot. Of course, mine hasn't been upvoted, but best team in the game has been. <laughs> what a flipping idiot. Yeah, halflings, halflings can do things. Halflings have, have, have better, half, until recently, halflings had a better win rate in Chalice than Pro Elves. <laughs> yeah, Jib, I've locked star, locked star, I've got to the semis, I think. I think Lark Star's got to the semis. I'm not 100% on that, but that's what I believe. And these days, what you believe is uh, it's just important as reality, isn't it? <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like, and especially in Blood Bowl twenty twenty as well, right? Because they don't they don't get the the like the TV bloat of a uh, the fan factor anymore. So they they actually get a lot better, don't they? In twenty twenty uh, halflings because they won't have that bloat. And obviously, snotlings are quite good with stars and everything. And ogres ogres get stars as well. So like, all the all the uh, stunning teams are a lot better in twenty twenty. Very exciting. Why is he gone? Why did he go this way? One, two, three, four. Couldn't you could have hit him on four, and then you would have been six, and then you could have like been like here or something. Why would you want to be there? I mean, this is looking like a a score, isn't it? He's got nothing back, and I guess he's going to try and win in normal time. I don't know what he can do. I don't know how he can win because he's got no <laughs> he's got no players left. <laughs> he's just got no players left. Oh, there you go. He's lobbed. He's lobbed the move for guy. <laughs> now, some French chap was it? Was it really? I thought it was Larkstar. Did Larkstar get the quarters? Didn't Larkstar do well with them? Larkstar must have done well with them. And then somebody else got the semis. Yeah, not having to take skills. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, very nice. Oh, he's not scoring. Larkstar was semi, says Elliot. Hi now. <laughs> hey. Yes, I, I knew, I knew that's what you were thinking, Sata. Hey, Dev. Glorious. Hey, Dev, for the people no, who didn't I won't know. give in until I'm victorious. Fucking Lockstar. And I will defend. <laughs>
I will defend. <laughs> Hello, it's just Jimmy. a great clip. If you, if you search Trucks birds, there's an amazing clip where Trucks is like, fuck you, Rockstar. <laughs> you fucking seen it. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, HTK, for staying fantastic for 19 glorious months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might, I might get rid of that particular hotel in all. I, I don't like it as much as the beard. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. Why is he cheerifying? Oh my god. He's re-rolled it! What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. I don't know. How, I don't know how you can re-roll that. I guess. I guess it's an edge four, and he thinks if I get lucky and cast him. But your best case scenario is overtime, and he's got a wizard as well, right? So like, it just seems a bit rowdy, a bit too rowdy for me. I guess he's got the stall though as well, hasn't he? He's got the stall because he just can't defend. He's got no players, and then hopes he wins the toss in overtime. Oh god, Bertha's hitting the ball! <laughs> Bertha's coming in hot! Gets the board down on the Kaz. Boy, howdy. Bolt bitch has been re relieved of the ball. <laughs> now he's got a 4 plus pickup. Can he still score? He can. Should he? Maybe. <laughs> no, Steve. I just think I just think it's not so good. I just think it's not such a good emote. I don't know. I just think it seems a bit too, like small and busy, you know. Whereas the beard one, uh, the beard one really captures the essence of beard, and that doesn't actually capture the insanity of the smile <laughs> as well as the the actual picture. <laughs> Lizards did have a, a dead Saurus turn one, yeah, just instantly. He just instantly uh, just started to get wrecked right from. Well, no, I don't know about death of Kaz. He just instantly got wrecked, the lizards. Maybe, maybe it was a, a death that got apple. Yeah, maybe it was a death that got apple. I thought it was a death. Match <laughs> 4 picks it up. Whoop. Post reroll GFIs. Oh, he's got sure feet. Shouldn't he have gone next to him and just lobbed him? Oh, I guess he can't. He can't get away from him anyway. Jim Shard. Death turn two. Right. Thank you. Yes, there's no need for a ball anymore, is there? He's uh. He's one. Didn't even get to bolt. Maybe he should have just thrown him. And then he could have moved afterwards, right? He could have he could have gone there and thrown him over here. Oh he's just gonna cage him, he's just gonna cage him with monsters. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> what a cage! No! Yes, yeah, he gets the lawner! <laughs> what, a, what a mental cage! <laughs> Two tree men, deep root and Bertha. <laughs> he feels. I mean, it wasn't even that bad, right? It was. It was like still a five plus in, fifty-five percent to get in. Oh, he should have. He should have bolted, right? It was last turn. He should have bolted. Something because he can only blitz. Like he should have at least bolt with this, shouldn't he? Might as well have done. Give the fans what they want. Yeah, I would have bolted the edge four. Yeah, or the or the carrier. Like rather than going for the hit with Bertha, maybe he's just bolted the edge three. But yeah, he probably he probably should have bolted at some point. I don't know. Maybe not though, right? Because you can you can save it in case it goes to overtime. I guess saving it in case of something overtime is, is maybe okay. I mean, maybe just saving it was right. 
<laughs> yeah, glorious fling domination. The BM no Apo use. No Apo use, no, uh, no wizard use. Ball carrier foul. <laughs> There you go. Congrats, Harpick. Winning with, uh, winning with, uh, Halflings. Unbelievable. Um, wow. I mean, it could have done though, right? Some guy 113. So, like, things could have still gone wrong and stuff. So, I guess holding it just in case everything goes wrong and you somehow have to go to overtime rather than, like, only marginally increasing your chances to win in normal time, I guess. I think it's probably it was but it was probably right to hold the wizard overall. I guess, I guess, I, I guess it just depends, right? It just depends on your personal preference. But um, there you go, Dom, absolute dom, halfling domination, unbelievable. The lizards could have blitzed with tackle. Yes, they could have done. That's that that, that much we know is true. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.